Hello everybody and welcome to a really quick uh, tutorial uh, for the Blender Game Engine on making um, things look reflective in the Blender Game Engine. Now keep in mind this is not a real time reflection tutorial. Um, I have a render to texture tutorial where you can make mirrors and I will make a real time reflection tutorial um, in the near future but this is like a fake reflection tutorial. So for this you will need a reflection map. Um, now you can go to Google and find some. I have lots on my computer. I have probably... There we go, there they all are. Um, quite a few on my computer that I could grab from. Uh, but the idea is you want an image that's going to look warped or inverted, like this sky here. Uh, or this, uh, you know, scene here. And you can see this one has like a blur on it, so it's going to look more reflective or glossy. Um, that's That's my preferred way of doing it, so... Uh, to actually apply, uh, so if you want to find a map like that, by the way, just go to uh, the internet and look up Sky Dome or look up Reflective Map. Um, if you want to actually apply it to an, uh, a model, uh, you can just bring it into Blender here, uh, open it up. So let's open uh, this one, and uh, you want to make sure your mesh is unwrapped first, uh, UV unwrapped, and you're going to pop this over to Reflection, and you can see what that does if I just hit Play here. Uh, it's going to make them look super, super shiny. Uh, so there's some variables I like to adjust to make this look more realistic. For one, I want to change this to uh, overlay. And uh, you can see if we just play what that kind of does. Uh, screen also looks really nice. Uh, but we're not going to have it this high, obviously. Uh, and then we also want to reduce the color quite a bit, or the effect quite a bit. And you can see how that kind of looks. Uh, it looks way shinier. Uh, so what you can actually do um, to take this a step further, if we wanted to only have part of this robot be uh, shiny, we could actually take one of these um, uh, things into uh, Photoshop here and create a map like this one where it's uh, uh, white on only certain areas and then the rest is invisible uh, so that we could have uh, a reflection map. So if we bring in a reflection map, so be this guy here, and we turn off the color and change it to a stencil, stencil with RBG to intensity. Uh, what that does is change the amount it's actually affecting uh, on the UV. So you can have some parts be reflective, some parts not, uh, and you can change the way it all looks. Anyway, if you found this tutorial useful, you can find a lot more on astronetwork.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.